Coming up on CTV Sports, the CSU football team takes a big hit. See why the Rams' backfield is looking empty. And it was a beautiful weekend for sports. CL softball, lacrosse, and rugby took advantage of the nice weather. Plus, it's opening day today. Stay tuned for students' reactions to the unofficial first day of spring. All this and much more coming up on CTV Sports! Good evening and thanks for watching CTV Sports. I'm Steven Starser. And I'm Travis Green. Former CSU running back Don Alexander is no longer a Ram. The red shirt junior was granted his request to be released from the team this weekend. Alexander was slated to be the starting running back for the Rams this fall after Capri Bibbs declared for the draft. Alexander led the Rams in rushing during his freshman year two seasons ago and averaged six yards per carry as a backup last season. His departure leaves the Rams strapped at the running back position with Chris Nwoke graduating and Bibbs leaving. Steve, this is a huge loss for the Rams. Yeah, it's uh, you know surprising to kind of see him go, but uh, circumstances led to this happening, and uh, now someone else is going to have the opportunity to step up and try and fill that role for the Rams. Uh, you know, going to be a big opportunity for for somebody. Yeah, definitely a big opportunity for someone stepping in, and we saw Capri Bibbs, same exact situation as last year. Besides the fact that we had Alexander there, he was the third string running back stepping in and came up big, and we came became, became the huge star that we know him as now. And there's going to be the opportunity for a running back now. Yeah, you know, hopefully it's someone who's got similar talents to Alexander because he's actually a very explosive back, showed some, you know, real sparks when he was in there in the lineup. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens, though. Uh, but it's still exciting, exciting time for, for the football team. And definitely going to miss that the quality uh, carries he gave us, six yards per carry. He's efficient out there. Yeah, we'll see what this team uh, does to, to make up for that. The weekend wasn't all bad news, though, for CSU sports. Softball, lacrosse, and rugby were all in action at home and the teams took advantage of the beautiful Colorado weather. The warm weather this weekend had fans coming out from all over the place to watch the different sporting events on CSU's campus and to just have a good time. It's a beautiful campus, it's beautiful weather. I'm a big CSU Ram fan. CSU softball team hosted a three game series at home at Rams Field against the Boise State Broncos. The men's club rugby team played against rival Wyoming. The men's club lacrosse team was also playing against UNLV. Ultimate Frisbee was going on. The students were even out enjoying the weather playing cricket and volleyball. And you could tell that everybody was ready for spring, which means it's time to bust out the grills. My daughter's a shortstop senior. I tailgate for every game out here for her for the kids that are out of state and for the kids in state so they have something to eat after the game. There is no question an atmosphere like the one this weekend can have an impact on a team. The, the more people that come out and support CSU, the, the rugby team, I mean the more pumped up they're going to get, you know, and the better we're going to do throughout the year. I see the little teams out here signing and it's, it's really means a lot to us. The, the support is amazing out here and I love, I just love looking at the crowd and seeing all these people. And it's just families, friends, everybody, so it's really nice. This just goes to show the power sports have on bringing together a community. Travis, gotta say, I'm loving the nice weather. Oh, you gotta. I mean, what an atmosphere that you see right there. There's, everybody's out there having a good time with this weather. And it's gotta help with recruiting on our sporting aspect because any player that comes and sees that atmosphere, they gotta love CSU. Definitely, and you know, it was not only just nice weather, but yeah. the teams actually came out and had a lot of success. Mm -hmm. Softball swept Boise State. Um, the lacrosse team beat UNLV 15 to 10, and rugby beat rival Wyoming, so they were three for three. And great for the Rams softball team now at 500 for in-conference play, so if things are looking great. I mean, they had that great start to the season, and now they're just adding on with conference wins, so this season's going to be, it's looking real well for the softball exactly. team. Exactly, building that confidence back up, so yeah. that's always important. Exactly. Well, we're going to take a quick break now. But when we come back, we'll get you an inside look at a sport you probably haven't heard of that's right here in Fort Collins. Don't go away. This is the moment I knew his future had no boundaries. There are some moments only the forest can inspire. Find yours at discovertheforest.org. Take my hand and start a brand new day. Underneath everything we are, we are all people. And when we reach out a hand to one, we can influence the condition of all. 
That's what it means to live united. My new dad teaches me all kinds of stuff. I wouldn't use this one. He helps me with my decision making. Never. And he's even teaching me how to drive. And that's why cars have bumpers. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. The great outside. My new mom and I have a lot in common. They're shiny. We both love the outdoors. That's not a flower. And she knows a lot about wildlife. <gasps> a labradoodle. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. Welcome back to CTV Sports. CSU Track and Field hosted its first outdoor meet of the year over the weekend. And many Rams felt right at home. Trevor Brown took first place in the 110 meter hurdles and the 400 meter hurdles. Along with Brown's success, CSU hammer throwers were on top of their game also. Tyler Scholes, Alec Pott, and Jake Schneeberger took the top three podium positions for the Rams. Up next for the Rams will be the Stanford Invitational or the Tom Benedict Invitational as the team will split for the, for the meets. Now, you've probably heard about CSU's polo team. The university does have a very well-renowned equine science program, after all. But Fort Collins is also very proud of its status as a bike-friendly city. CTV reporter Keith Albertson found a sport that combines these two unique features of FOCO. Fort Collins has its own bike polo team. About a dozen or so people show up in the park every Sunday to ride around and play this odd sport. I just had a friend uh, come out and say, hey, you should try this. You know, we've been out there for a while and it's, it's a great time. And, and he kept badgering me for, must have been a year. And I finally came out and that day I was hooked. I knew right away what he was talking about. And so now I'm the one badgering my roommates and uh, people I meet to come out and give it a shot. Cause it's really a sport that you can't, you can't understand until you get out there and just fail at it for a little while. Oh, as if riding a bike in high traffic wasn't hard enough throwing a makeshift ski pole and a ball gets a lot harder. It's just a real fluid kind of game and it's a real nice way to, you know, interact with your bicycle and, uh, you know, play with a team and it's just a lot of fun. But the fun also comes with its fair share of risk. 65-year-old Guillaume doesn't let that injury risk bother him, though. Oh, injuries, uh, those are overrated. <laughs> and that attitude passed on to his son, Ryan. And there's stuff that happens all the time. Um, he's broken some bones, and some, but they're all pretty minor. We really try and downplay the carnage factor of the game. The, car the game is meant to be really smooth. Ryan hasn't been able to avoid the carnage factor, but Michael has remained relatively healthy in his 15 years in the sport. Sometimes the competition gets to us, and definitely there are crashes, and you know, things happen. So do you anticipate playing this for the rest of your life? I don't know if I can do that, but uh, uh, I'm starting to slow down, unfortunately. Despite his age, Michael was still able to help his team win the Colorado Cup three years ago. That was the highlight of my, of my bicycle uh, experience, my bike polo experience. You know, it was like midnight, we've been playing all day long, we were exhausted, but we won. <laughs> that was cool. The team will be competing in its annual Fort Collins tournament on the weekend of April 19th in Buckingham Park. Steve, what about Big Mike there showing off the hand-eye coordination he's gotten from playing bike polo, yeah. catching the ball while talking. I wow. know it, showing off, keeping you know the peripherals going. Well, very impressive, 65 years old, wow. How cool is that, a sport that you can play in Fort Collins where you can play with father and son? Yeah, you know, just great thing to go out there, do on the weekends if you have spare mm -hmm. time. Obviously, uh, those guys are having fun, enjoying themselves, so, you know, enjoy the nice weather, go out and do something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Springtime is finally here with opening day. That's right, Steve, and coming up after the break, we'll check out how, how much CSU students are looking forward to baseball season. Don't go away. When you're out there, there's no telling what you'll find. I see it, I see it! Oh, look at you. There are some moments only the forest can inspire. Find yours at discovertheforest.org. Closer to nature 
can get you closer to your family. Go to discovertheforest.org. Welcome back and thanks for watching. Major League Baseball had a scattering of games last week, but today was officially opening day. The Rockies took on the Miami Marlins today and they're losing right now in the top of the ninth 10 to 1, but I'm still excited for baseball season. And I was wondering how, how if CSU students were feeling the same. I know it's coming up. That's about it. I'll probably be to be at opening day. Oh, really? Yeah, which is Monday. I am excited about opening day. Back in high school, I used to skip school every day just to go to opening day. Definitely support the Rockies, man. I hopefully they'll do good this season. Yeah, Rangers are coming on Cinco de Mayo, so you know I'm going to be there. You're going to be there? <laughs> yeah. Are you yeah. skipping anything to go to this opening day? Um, don't tell my fiance, but yeah. The Rockies. Yeah. Uh, I'm a Washington fan. Basketball I'm from D.C. Basketball. Yeah, I like the Dodgers, man. That's home. It was in Australia. I had to stay up till 3 in the morning for the Dodger game yeah, yeah. against the Diamondbacks. I was up till 3. Uh, I love just hanging out in the atmosphere in the stadium. There's nothing like the smell of the ball field and, uh, you know, the chatter of the crowd whenever someone does something good out there. It's, it's fun. Um, probably, but more so to drink. I personally like the hot dogs, but <laughs> just the social environment of it. Just, I like the team, but I don't have the specific player. Any players in particular? I watch it, but I don't, I don't know them. Um, I mean, I gotta say too low, because he's got a really nice butt. Well, Steven, you can see some CAC students are really excited for baseball, and some are excited for baseball season for other aspects. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you know, as long as they all get up there to the ballpark, enjoy a game. That's all that matters. It's all part of the fun. Well, what do you think the Rocky season is looking like ahead of us? Well, I know it's a little bit of a bummer to lose that first game. Or it's not officially over yet, but down 10-1, to 1, not looking too good for them. Uh, Wilton Lopez struggling once again here in the first game out of the bullpen. Mm -hmm. Obviously, pitching is something that people have always talked about with the Colorado Rockies. Want to see them be able to go out there, have quality starts from their starters, and have the bullpen pitch well. Um, people think the offense is good enough, so hopefully... We could get the package put together. Stay healthy, obviously that's key as well. Oh, definitely health. For Tulowitzki and Cargo, it'd be great to have those guys out there for all 162 games, keep those guys healthy. And a uh, question coming out of spring break is people, are, whether they're in shape or not. And Jose Fernandez, over spring break and over the offseason, was riding 400 to 500 miles a week on a bike. Wow. So he's in mid-season form right now. That's commitment right there. You yeah. know, If you want to show commitment to your owners and stuff like that, go out there and do that. That's going to impress <laughs> some people. Well, what teams are you interested in this season? Who catches your eye? I'm going to say the Yankees for one. Uh, I know people... You hear about them plenty on ESPN and stuff like that. But you go out and get Ellsbury and Beltran for the outfield. They get Tanaka and the sweepstakes for the big pitcher from Japan. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, on paper this team looks really, really good. But can they go out there, get the job done? It's supposed to be Jeter's last year, last hurrah there in Yankee uniform. So I'm interested to see how they end up this season. Yeah, my team I'm watching is the St. Louis Cardinals. I mean, they have pretty much the same group core there. With Michael Waga, we saw how great yeah. he played in the playoffs. He's now going to be up with the MLB team the whole year. And this, all these young players are stepping up huge. And I think the Cardinal way is just going to keep rolling. And another team to watch is the Los Angeles Angels. Pujolski in that huge contract and Josh Hamilton. And now they sign Mike Trout, their star yeah. that rightfully deserves a big contract. He got his contract. So it's going to be interesting to see if those three can perform together and have the season that a lot of people think they could have. No question about it. Another interesting thing brought up in ESPN, um, they had kind of a, an anonymous poll go out of players voting who they think is the most overrated player in baseball. Bryce Harper garnered the most votes for that. What are your thoughts on that? I don't think Harper is the most overrated. I mean, I understand where players are coming from because out of high school, you see all those videos of him hitting 500-foot home runs when he's 18 and he's on the cover of Sports Illustrated. But he, the, the truth is he's 21 years old and he's performing. He could have an MVP season if he could stay healthy. So I don't think he's an overrated player. All right. Well, baseball season has started, but our show is ending. Tune in next week to see if the Cubs are still winless. My bet is going to be a yes. And, of course, you can get the latest with CSU Sports from Collegian.com. Have a great night.